You're listening to Breakdown FM, where ladies don't strip, they ride first class. Can you relate to a sister dope enough to make you holler and scream? What the deal, yo? This is your girl, Queen Latifah, original flavor unit, Jersey's finest. Where else you gonna get the hottest sounds around? Break, 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 break down at them. Davey D hanging out with you this afternoon, and we are in the lovely city of Baltimore. We are talking to somebody who is doing it real big out on the East Coast. She is from Pittsburgh. Pennsylvania. We know her. We love her. Her name is Kelly Mays. And she is one of the people we want to spotlight as we spotlight women who are doing it big in 2008. Kelly Mays, of course, has a new album out called Age of Feminine. But she's much more than just an album. How you doing? I'm very well. Thank you. Good. You know, let's let's kind of um, introduce yourself to uh, to people listening. I know in the city of Pittsburgh, we mentioned Kelly Mays' his name. People know you, <laughs> um, but in other places, it might be who Kelly who. So let's let's kind of you know take them on a little journey. What what? How long have you been in the game, and and what are some of the things that highlight what you're about? Uh, all right. Well, I grew up in the center of Pennsylvania, a uh, sort of nondescript area. Um, the middle of Pennsylvania, they say, you know, there's Pittsburgh and there's Philadelphia and sort of Alabama in between. And that definitely kind of describes my upbringing. Um, I have two very loving parents, uh, sort of abnormal to have parents that were so open-minded. Um, I'm adopted, so they kind of, I think, felt that they always kind of had to keep my my eyes sort of open and not ever... Um, I don't know, sort of accept everybody. It was definitely a different kind of upbringing given my, my, uh, the area where I was from. Not diverse at all. And, um, I kind of came into this sense of myself through hip hop actually because, um, I learned a lot about the world and about, um, you know, the ills of the world through, through listening to hip hop. And I fell in love with Pittsburgh. I went there when I was 16. My family, or a friend, rather, my boyfriend's family was living there at the time and fell in love with the city and came to Pitt. Um, went there for four years and had plans to, Was always I was always performing, um, and I had plans to be a promoter and perform, go to New York, wanted to go somewhere even bigger. And um, I just couldn't leave the Steel City. It was like a magnet. Every time I, you know, had a big idea to go, you know, I just couldn't get out. I couldn't leave. Now, you said uh, earlier that uh, that your upbringing, you lived in a neighborhood and it wasn't all that diverse. Um, you are Caucasian, you know, mm-hmm. European-American. So was it, what, mostly black or Latino? No. Was it all white? All or? white. All white. I mean, and it was... What, what's the racial dynamics like in a place like Pittsburgh? Um, in Pittsburgh, I, you know, I don't really know the exact, um, you know, demographical information, but, I mean, it's, it's very segregated, um, it's, there's definitely, you know, it's pretty much black and white, there, there's very, uh, very small Latino population, at least as far as I know, very small Indian population, um, and it's, you know, kind of very segregated in terms of the neighborhoods that are black are black, the neighborhoods that are white are white. And um, there's some city neighborhoods that are starting to kind of become more diverse, but it is it is pretty filthy segregated. <laughs> Would you getting into hip hop and, 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 and music, you know, was that unusual? Were you looked at like, well, what the hell is this white girl doing in this? Or was, you know, had hip hop diversified itself enough that it was just kind of the norm for you to be a part of whatever was going on? No, I'm not at all. I mean, I, I grew up um, with a very strong sort of music background. My mom was really into um, funk and soul, 70s kind of music, and my dad was actually a country, through and through country music listener, and um, I was always uh, writing rhymes in my head, like I would just, I, you know, I had to sort of entertain myself a lot of the time growing up. I was always surrounded by boys, and um I would be singing and writing rhymes in my head all the time. And once I sort of discovered hip hop and and that genre of, you know, being able to express yourself in a way that is that is personal, um, I just was constantly making music for myself really. It was like a way to kind of like deal with whatever was going on in my head. I was always like a super emotional person. And um, so when I came to Pittsburgh and really started expressing that, and and I had performed my whole life really. I was always up on stage singing and whatnot. And um, 
I was not really greeted um, with a with open arms at first. Um, I, I got I got in with a lot of um, artists and musicians in Pittsburgh right off the bat that were making music, but it was definitely kind of like a you know crooked eye, like what's she doing? You know, it was definitely an interest. But as soon as you know, I mean, I'm I'm coming from the heart, so I think that as soon as people just took a second to realize that I was really saying something that. It wasn't just some superficial bullshit like I'm trying to get paid. You know, there was something deeper. Well, you know, let's take a listen to a song off your album, Major Feminine. Um, this this deals with your life. Mm-hmm. You know, um, what's the name of this song and, and set us up as we get ready to listen to it? Okay. Well, I mean, I guess Story of Me would be would be the, the chosen one. That's sort of, I guess, the autobiographical track. Um, uh, it's really kind of a... Of a an explanation, really, in a in a lot of ways, um, because I think that I, I can be very easily misunderstood. You know, I'm out here, I'm a promo- promoter. Um, I run my own company, an all female company, um, and uh, I do have a, a background that most people, you know, when I moved to Pittsburgh, not only was it like who's this white girl making rap music, but it was also sort of like who's this girl who's not even from Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. You know, I got a lot of that, and um, I think it was important for me to just kind of let people know that. It doesn't matter where you're from. It's about what you're doing and where you're at and where you're headed and what you believe. And so it was. It, it's a way for me to kind of let people know where I'm coming from. I, the misconceptions that have sort of followed me. I'm just trying to let people know what the what the real deal is. Here it is. Story of me. We'll be right back. <laughs> I thought to slit and wrist Don't know my heritage Life so full of twists and turns Watch my morph into a skeleton The burn from radiation God was foretelling the urn I would fill with dead parent Mind swelling concern About the cancer sticks They still selling them Ma lived but daddy did die I watched him go We'll never forget the last breath there When his soul was leaving every day To make sure that I could eat Bear hugs and pure love I cried for a week at his feet Fighting for his honor, his pain, his generosity Taught me to never judge and to value reciprocity I feel his eyes looking down on me You were the world to me, R.I.P. Daddy, R.I.P. Hippie, triumphant team I heard it from the people of the town They call me Hippie, triumphant team And now you know the real story of me Hippie, triumphant team I heard it from the people Like finding my soul Was dancing before I could walk the country And rock and roll Wrote my first rhyme in Central PA At nine years old But never let it out of that white trash mold As a kid, pops had me wearing the black and gold team Took a visit to Pittsburgh at age 16 Remember seeing the tall buildings and how they gleam I wanna be here, something drew me, know what I mean Taking on the world so full of anxieties A self-medicated girl with big city dreams Flying on the saucer to Saturn, my moonbeams They thinking I fucked someone to get here, please Hit a 412, I'm finally home, kid Mama's in the factory, I gotta make it big Needle in the arm, I'm mad people back home No jobs like the city, some spots are war zone Hippie, triumphant team I heard it from the people of the town They call me Hippie, triumphant team But now you know the real story of me Different, and she said the 
stage for a health and happiness To my God I praise Back in 98 when B came before Bonics He named me Kel Della Kel in a cloud full of chronic So I'm shortened to daylight cause they slow from hydroponic They call me Killer Kel when I had too much vodka tonic My man named me Apocalypse Crane, it ain't demonic It's all about the change I wanna see, it's harmonic Hand in my pocket with peace sign, ain't it ironic? But I'ma go with k Maze cause it sounds super sonic And I've been popular since the start of my life And if you know my name I hope you be that real peaceful type I'm about the movement plain and simple Don't believe all the hype The gossip in my stuff We gon' turn all the wrong to right Word on the street is I work 80 hours a week And don't sleep And I don't want your man I got one and he's sweet My kernel ain't moving slow And no, I do not blow This manic brain is full of flow If you don't know, now you know Hippie, tramp and feel And I heard that from the people of the town They call me Hippie, tramp and feel But now you know the real story of me Hippie, tramp and feel I heard it from the people of the town They call me Hippie, tramp and feel Maybe you'll hear your story in me Hippie, tramp and feel I heard it from the people of the town They call me Hippie, tramp and fame But now you know the real story of me What? Hippie, tramp and fame I heard it from the people of the town They you call me Hippie, tramp and fame Maybe you'll hear your story in me So there we have it. We've been listening to the song Story of Me. Uh, you're coming really hard with that and following in the tradition of a lot of MCs um, that, you know, feel uh, uh, compelled to put their life story down on wax. Uh, what was the feedback you got from this? Did, were people feeling you? Were they like, wow, I didn't know you went through this? What was the deal? Well, actually, um, it's interesting because um, I did, when I was first coming out in Pittsburgh and, and doing promotions and I was I was doing a lot of background vocals. I was singing with people. I was writing maybe 16 bars here and there. So people knew I was an artist but they didn't really necessarily respect me as an artist. They respected me as a promoter as somebody who supported other artists but it wasn't about you know anything beyond that and I think a lot of people maybe questioned my intentions and it's interesting after my CD came out this was the song that people you know came up to me and mentioned and, um, and said like I was feeling on that like I appreciated knowing where you came from and what you're about so I mean it, it, you know it was really positive and I, I definitely am, am glad that it was a song that just came out of me and I, I had been for a long long time trying to decide I, I, I was in love with Cher's song Hippies, Tramps and Thieves since I was a little girl and I always really related to that because she's talking about the issue of unplanned pregnancy and I've always related to that obviously because I am a product of such and was really um, feeling like that was that was the song and my man Edan um, ID Labs in Pittsburgh he, he made this track for me and it was just like the minute I heard it it all just came out of me you know like a f channeling really so you know one of the things we're talking with Kelly Mays uh, spotlighting females who are doing it big in 2008 uh, she is one of many around the country who are I think part of a movement even if they don't Uh, having connected the dots themselves, just being in the position that I'm in, I get a chance and I'm seeing that there's a lot of women um, that have really been um, on a path and kind of changing um, the direction that the mainstream is pushing and redefining uh, hip-hop for themselves. One of the things that I've noticed... Um, And when I think of names, I think of people like Jennifer Johns out of uh, Oakland and Mystic in L.A. and, you know, Medusa down in uh, Los Angeles as well. And, yeah, I, I got to give uh, Mystic uh, her props in the Bay. Mm -hmm. We know her in L.A., but she's from the Bay. But, you know, um, you know, Julie C. in Seattle. And, you know, we can go on and on just naming off a lot of women that are, you know, kind of stepping into their own um, over the past couple of years. The thing that I notice is that Uh, most of y'all rap and sing, you know, and um, how is, is that is is that just uh, following in somebody's footsteps? Is that just a natural expression? And what do we say to those people that's like, well, you're not supposed to sing if you're doing hip hop? You know? <laughs> well, I mean, I I think the reason for it is maybe just. Because I know, I know that I personally grew up singing, and um, it was something that it was like, you know, she can't shut up. Like, let's teach her some tunes. She has a nice voice, and whatnot. So for me, it was really just about 
you know, using all sides of myself and really expressing. I, I love to sing, and I grew up singing all the time. So um, I think that it's just a diversity of women. We, you know, our voice is something that has been, you know, I think our mothers and our DNA deep down, the restriction that we felt for so long is finally coming out. And that movement that you're talking about to me is, I mean, I'm, I'm a very spiritually based person over the last like six or seven years. I've become really, really in tune with that side of myself. And I do believe that it is a movement. I believe that there is a serious lack of feminine energy on this planet. Singing is a way to sort of let that out because it is a, it's a sighing, it's a, it's a release that I think um, a lot of men feel is too feminine, you know, and not not really something that, that is necessary, but I think that it's a really important part of making me... Well, it's time to feel it. Right, exactly, exactly. Now, you know, um, before we listen into another, another record off your album, um, talk a little bit about the title, Age of Feminine. Well, um, as I was saying, I, I do, I believe that we're entering, you know, again, like, the, the spirituality of this of this age we are at this point where everywhere you look the world is I mean it's it's essentially imploding and there's there's this sense of you know sort of a doomsday and that you know how can we really reverse the ills that that, that the humans have have inflicted not only on our on the world but really deeply within ourselves we are we are so conflicted and and heavily um, just in chains, you know, and I think that 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 speaks across all races, all all types of humans. Everybody has just developed a sense of deep, um, you know, inability to really tap into our true selves. And I think that um, for me, when I I named it that, it was it was based off of the the title track, Age of Feminine, which was really about to me. I think the only way that we are going to get ourselves out of this serious spiritual rut is if we tap into the feminine side of ourselves and that's not just women that's men have a feminine side we all have a yin and yang and we all have a side of ourselves that is compassionate and that looks at another human and does not see a separation but really can relate and for me it's it's i guess it's partly a belief because i just want to believe so much i believe in creating your reality and i want to believe that women and that um the feminine energy will return and that you know all of the 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 disguise that 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 society has placed over the fact that the you know the goddess and the that really at one time a feminine divine energy was present on this earth and was flourishing and, and good things were happening and partnerships were being created that that will return so my hope is you know along with the age of Aquarius and all these things that are changing in our lives you know we're seeing the worst right now because we're about to see something better so that's my my hope anyway <laughs> we've been talking with Kelly Mays let's check out another track off her album Age of Feminine. We'll be right back. Wishing on a clover, engaging the youth like I'm Fraggle Rock and Rover. Marge and Homer, I'm that socialite loner. Writing in the corner on my pocket PC as I hum, laying it all out through the thumb. Texting on the pad, I ain't having no fun. I wanna run and I feel like the end has come. But before you agree, love, tell me why we all can't drum. Pound our way to freedom. You know, at one point I believed them that all was well. Then I felt the earth swell and I came back from hell. You can call me hell, sitting in my own cell, calling on my ladies and I'm ringing bells, ringing bells. This is revolutionary music, and you should like it and you should choose it. A lot of powers that be will misuse it, but don't lose it, it's your voice, use it. This is revolutionary music, and you should like it and you should choose it. A lot of powers that be will misuse it, but don't lose it, it's your voice, use it. This is revolutionary music. And you should like it and you should choose it A lot of powers that be will misuse it But don't lose it, it's your voice, use it They don't care how they make a dollar Use a child killer parent, do you hear me holla? 
Before we blow up, more innocent people They be flocking to the church, bowing to the steeple But we the ones that's evil Thinking they treating everyone equal It's a sequel Using the name of God to fight Forgetting their values, no wrong from right Money in that Glock sight Or the seal, their pockets tight Not giving a fuck about the poor's plight Or who they indict A third in jail each and every night Prison industry, modern day slavery Corporations on lock and key Big brother, he be watching me Only privilege get to do see If you're lucky and you're white male Then you get to be free This is revolutionary music And you should like it and you should choose it A lot of powers that be will misuse it But don't lose it, it's your voice, use it This is revolutionary music And you should like it and you should choose it A lot of powers that be will misuse it But don't lose it, it's your voice, use it this is revolutionary music And you should like it and you should choose it A lot of powers that be will misuse it But don't lose it, it's your voice, use it At an early age I felt the rage surging through my veins The pains of living with thoughts of splattered brains You either live in hood or you're bound by chains The white men who wish the laws had never changed I did a couple years in a cubicle Sitting, thinking, writing on my cubicle Inexpensive living got us trapped up in a building A bunch of angry people crapped up, you know the feeling each day I grow weary, friends died, I love dearly I talk cats to fear me, set trip for to see me You suck up, believe me, living in hoods with no democracy If I will collect in many of my bullets in those off my seas Don't type horse on my enemy, I'd rather die tough if you befriended me But I'm an outcast with a dirty past With a heart and heart of cast, blessed and fast Using my door cloud as a man praying This is revolutionary music And you should like it and you should choose it a lot of powers that be will misuse it But don't lose it, it's your voice, use it This is revolutionary music And you should like it and you should choose it A lot of powers that be will misuse it But don't lose it, it's your voice, use it song uh revolutionary what is what's the title it's actually called marching marching that's what i always call it revolutionary <laughs> revolutionary music it makes sense yeah <laughs> you know um one of the things about that particular song um you know spitting a lot of uh socially conscious lyrics um being a woman attracting a woman do you feel uh, a pressure to move in a direction where you uh play up to you know um your feminine charms, you know, the attractions or those types of things. And do you feel like if you go and take a socially conscious stance that it turns people off? Like, man, you know, I'm not trying to hear you be all conscious. I'm trying to hear you, you know, right. do shake something different, shake your thing. <laughs> or, you know, or, or you know, you know how, how people react to it and, and where do you come from on all this? Well, um... It's interesting because I didn't I didn't grow up in a in an environment where sexuality and um, you know where women were really looked at as as objects so much it it was more of a of a um, I don't want to say it was it was very much a subordinate role you know it wasn't so much about sexual objectivity but it was more about you know the woman is definitely subordinate to the man so I, I never really like I, I do get a lot of you know a lot of people. You know, obviously I get hit on, I get, you know, people saying, well, if you just made music that was a little bit, you know, more about your sexuality and whatnot, that maybe, you know, I would appeal more. But but to be honest, because I'm just coming from a true sense of, of feeling that, that the female energy and that women in general have been subordinate to, to something greater, um, that that's kind of where I'm coming from. It's not really about... Um, anything more than that however um, I do think that women should embrace their sexuality and should embrace the idea of of being sexual beings and being able to express themselves in the same way that men do I think the problem is that the negativity comes in there's so much uh, specifically with hip-hop today there's so much derogatory talk and it's it's like taking sex from a, the beauty that it is to this very um, you know carnal you know to registering with these lower vibes the music you hear on the radio on mainstream radio has just got this frequency that is not it's not meant to make people feel empowered or make people feel you know, like they want to respect each other. It's very, it's very volatile. It's very 
to me dangerous and and it it really is all about keeping us there and i think that that's a larger social issue and i think that you know the the powers that be the corporations the you know whatever they want to keep us kind of registering there because that's how we feel shitty about ourselves and buy more shit and you know it's just really a you in consumer exactly, mode exactly but you know you you yourself have tried to uh and, and to a large degree have been successful in changing that dynamic, at least in the city of Pittsburgh. Talk a little bit about Nocturnal, um, what that really stands for, and, and and how that's been an uplifting movement and, you know, a shining oasis, you know, and, and you know, just a music world that's often, as you said, degrading. Mm-hmm. Well, um, Nocturnal was really born out of this uh, sense that... Well, what I is was, Nocturnal first? Okay, Nocturnal, Nocturnal is my company. Um, I started it about three years ago um, with several females in the city of Pittsburgh Um, and basically it was born out of this sense it's an events and promotions company so our goal is to basically I mean right now the way that we're kind of making it and being able to pay the rent is by sort of taking corporate dollars and, and, and using and channeling them into supporting local artists at the same time helping those those corporations get exposure to local artists um, but and and really to a to the the scene that is supporting that and um, that's sort of like our our Do they, those our corporations don't push you to go in a certain direction like you know why are you doing all this stuff with the women or come with a little bit more <laughs> street oriented or they respect you from coming with a you know something that is a little bit more uplifting yeah I mean fortunately we haven't really made too many compromises and don't plan on it I mean our our interest is really and it's very clear to every all of our clients that we are here because. We want to give independent artists, filmmakers, designers, uh, musicians a platform, the ability to get their work out there because right now the music industry is so so shaky and so um, just sort of... I mean, I don't even really... I, that could be a whole other conversation about the music industry. But basically, there's just so little opportunity for, for these people out here that have something to say. And we've sort of used that power to make sure that, you know, we're getting people out there that are actually saying something that matters. So um, so really, the, the point, though, was that I felt, at least as a woman in the industry, in the music industry... And, you know, the art industry in general, it was very difficult to get anything accomplished because there was this, you know, all, it was kind of run by all men and there was this sense of like, you know, I was taking over territory or it was, you know, difficult to sort of work with me and I was surrounded by all these women who have these amazing talents, artists, videographers, you know, promoters and whatnot who were very disjointed. It was like everybody wanted to work together but nobody could really make it happen and I spent about seven days um, totally un relate you know I wasn't I wasn't on some crazy drug or anything but I just couldn't sleep and I wrote out this whole kind of plan of how I wanted to unite all of these women and get all these women together in a non-competitive environment to really do something big and I saw it on a very global scale and I saw you know my music being a big part of that because I felt that you know really it was all about expressing who we are as individuals and making a difference, you know, and actually doing something that, that that's really going to create a movement and create something that's like bigger than ourselves. And I think that that's the problem. So many times in this country, we're, you know, it's it's, you know, it's separate and conquer, and you know, just make people at odds with each other. And I think that my goal, and it's, and let me tell you, it's hard. It's very hard. Women, um, you know, we have a lot of young girls that we work with, and it's hard to make them even break down the barriers within each, within our, our, our small group to work together. Why, why is it so hard for women to work together? That's the stereotype. Y'all get in a room and then, you know, um, the stereotype is that, yeah. that women can't work together. And then, and then when you look at some of the, the, the entities and institutions that have been most degrading, ironically, they're run by women. BET, run by woman. Radio One, run by woman. You know, MTV, you know what I mean? You see yeah. these women in high places. And this is, I don't know, I don't want to make it sound like we're blaming the victim, but I'm looking at that as maybe part and parcel, like, wow, you know, where does this come from that, 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 that people who collectively are oppressed can't, can't come together? Right. Well, I mean, I think that in terms of women, that, that oppression is really very much about um, the f- it's like a social construct. We are um, sitting here in a world that is essentially run 
by men. And so, you know, when it comes down to it, there's cultures all across the world that are incredibly degrading to women. You know, they're one of seven wives or they're, you know, have to stay home. Um, we've our psyche is is very um, it's very torn and I, I believe in sort of you have you carry the DNA of your ancestors and your mother and your grandmother and people who aren't alive and it's like it's stuck in our brains that we are not as important so now in this world where we really can create our own realities and go out there and get what we need to get we need to follow this model that has been you know sort of ingrained in us which is of a, a more, you know, testosterone, you know, we've got to sort of fight our way to get there. And so... you got to have nuts. Very, yeah, and there's very few positions available to women, so obviously it's going to create this insane competitive side, and it's going to make it so that, you know, if, if there's only one job within MTV or within whatever that can that probably will be held by a woman, there's, you know, 30,000 women that want that job that are sitting there in the city where where it's available, and it's going to create a, a, that vibe of competition. I mean, it's just it's cap. It's it's really like a it's a it's a much larger thing. And capitalism is so that that sense of you know be better than the next person is just to me it's not it's not what we're supposed to be doing. It's right. not real, and it's not it's not something that I think is is really essential to the nature that we should be should be bringing forward in these next, you know, in these next 25 years. I think that we're entering something bigger. We've been talking with Kelly Mays out of the city of Pittsburgh. We're here in the city of Baltimore tonight talking with her. She's going around the town doing her thing and we're spotlighting her. Pick a record off of uh, your album that we should go into right now. Oh, well, I guess... um, I guess Age of Feminine is probably, it's the title track, and I think that it kind of spans a lot of what, how I feel, you know, I may not be able to say as eloquently in my interview with you, but uh, I think that that kind of gets to the meat of the matter. We'll be right back. Lurky heart, give a call, mustache me, shakti and all my ladies in the yeah. right And all my ladies in the east yeah. We about to take over this beat Alright ladies, it's time to stand up Come on fellas, take away your girl's crush We gotta make moves, it's time to break through It's the age of feminine, what you gon' do? Come on ladies, it's time to stand up Alright fellas, take away your girl's crush We gotta make moves, it's time to break through It's the age of feminine, what you gon' do? You see this system has long been a joke Patriarchy, they're killing innocent folk Fuck the shell and the white, they saving all the yoke Inside 360, we rep the second tote He been on my case and I can feel him choke they wasted our trust and now we must revoke Will you blindly follow, pulling up that coat That's conscious on your side, do you feel her vote? And we don't want eat cakes animals Sick of the world, they be acting like cannibals We don't believe in death for power Fuck the thrill and the watchtower Do you have the balls? Are you a coward? I can hear the masses and they keep getting louder Stop up in the pills, crushing up the powder Believe in yourself, fuck that internal doubter Alright ladies, it's time to stand up Come on fellas, take away your girl's crush we gotta make moves, it's time to break through It's the age of feminine, what you gon' do? Come on ladies, it's time to stand up Alright fellas, take away your girl's crush We gotta make moves, it's time to break through It's the age of feminine, what you gon' do? Na koi maju na bandi, kaam karwaayenge Apne kaam hai yaabe, se kuch ban jayenge Na koi maju na bandi, kaam karwaayenge Two choices, take over or watch the babies die Polluted air, gun blast, see the way they cry You been muted, look a shot, so I can hear them sigh Are you waiting on the devil or God for piece of pie? Me and my ladies, we've been grinding teeth Practicing and preaching, we hoping to impeach Inhale the silly seed, we suck it in deep You've been wasting my time, assuming that we free But I've been real far from casual I'm a serious bitch, I'm writing a manual Fuck the chit chat, small fuck, he sound like Hannibal Lecter Or with the weapons inspector in the U.S. Who is the real threat? I know you suspect, and while you reflect We lethal inject with azel infects I'm about to defect, until then I'll be writing rhymes And I'll be writing checks Alright ladies, it's time to stand up Come on fellas, take away your girl's crush we gotta make moves, it's time to break through It's the age of feminine, what you gon' do? Come on ladies, it's time to stand up Alright fellas, take away 
way your girl cry We gotta make moves It's time to break through It's the age of feminine What you gonna do? I know my ladies in the Love our men, but the days of the female service way back when are over, my friend. Human rights, we must defend. Breathe in the feminine energy, it's a yang trend. We must spread the positive vibe. Wanna put the aura, no need to hide. Love your neighbor, smile at a stranger, fuck your pride. We in a state of danger, the devil he has crept inside. But when the women gather, the world will heal. It's written in the holy books, come on, strike a deal. That you won't worry about your looks, so let's be real. See the beauty inside you've been duped, break the seal. Holy prophecy, no to diamonds from the sea. It's our duty to return the mother. To the tree, water the root, it's an emergency. Age of Aquarius, bring them water, set them free. Alright, ladies, it's time to stand up. Come on, fellas, take away your girl's crush. We gotta make moves, it's time to break through. It's the age of feminine, what you gonna do? Come on, ladies, it's time to stand up. Alright, fellas, take away your girl's crush. We gotta make moves, it's time to break through. It's the age of feminine, what you gonna do? Check it out, Kelly Mays. David D coming back at you. We're talking with Kelly Mays, listening to the title track off her album, Age of Feminine. Um, you know, one of the things I wanted to go back to you just as an artist, you know, you, you sing and you rap, you know, MC, um, which is easier to write. You know, do you go into two different mindsets or is it one uh, is it one and the same? Hmm. Well, um, usually what happens when I write is I, I have this sort of... Um, idea in my head that I want to address. It's either that way I've got an idea or I've got some kind of humming, you know, I'll be humming a tune. And to be honest, it usually just kind of comes out. I don't usually choose, am I going to write a song? Am I going to write a hook? Am I going to write a verse? Um, but I think overall that it's easier for me to actually write rhymes because I can say more, you know? I think that, to be totally honest, one of the main reasons that I ended up really sort of, especially with this particular album, you know, leaning more towards writing rhymes and, and spitting lyrics on, like, a regular was because I had so much I wanted to say. And I feel like I didn't even get to say half of what I wanted to. And when you sing, you know, you've got, you've got a lot less time. <laughs> you know, one of the criticisms or one of the challenges, I should say, that female MCs run into is uh, the perception that there's lack of, uh, um, lack of uh, diversity in their delivery and voice. You know, that's the thing I've always heard. Um, and, and when you talk to people who, who uh, work at labels, they're like, well, you know, Roxanne and Shantae sound the same as MC Light, so we only need one. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, you know, you could put a Big Daddy Kane in the room, and he's different than a Soldier Boy, who's different than a 50 Cent, who's different than a Game, who's different. And I know there's a difference between a Queen Latifah and an MC Light and a Remy Ma, but still, to the average person, it's all the same. And I don't know, one, have you ever come across that challenge? And when you're writing, who? who who, who do, you know? Who's influencing you? Whose flows are you listening to? And you're like, man, I need to I need to step it up and be just like him or her. Mm -hmm. Well, oh man, that's 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 a tough question because I think that I, I hear what you're saying. I think that um, I've noticed after I've been listening more recently, I just started kind of popping my album back in and critiquing again because I'm going back in the studio. And I've noticed that my live shows, I've been performing constantly and I've been performing the material on my album. And when I perform it live, I ha I've been doing so much more with my voice and kind of spitting it in a totally different way. And um, I do think that when I listen to my album the whole way through, I've, I've, I've been like, I kind of, I got the same thing going on and I got I to switch it up a little bit. Um, so, I mean, I, I think that, that that makes sense. And I think that women, you know, unfortunately, we've just been kind of left out of the game in a lot of ways and don't have a lot of role models um, out there. But as far as who influenced me in the past, I mean, Lauren Hill was always a very, very... Um, very influential person to me. Um, I think that when it comes down to it, um, her 
her delivery and her style, you know, even with the newer Unplugged, which obviously isn't new anymore, but just, you know, she has, she has a, a nice, diverse way of delivery, um, and what she's talking about is just so important and influential. Um, I also am really into Miss Dynamite. Um, okay, she, out of uh, Britain. Yeah, yeah. She um, is somebody that I always am talking about, always want to bring here. Um, to Pittsburgh, anyway. What about MIA? I was just going to say, MIA is definitely um, off the chains. My she, girl. Brings, she brings a lot of diversity she in her does. delivery. She does, exactly. And she, um, my girl that sings with me, Sangha um, Trivedi, she is uh, on three of my tracks, the track that you just heard, Age of Feminine. Uh, we definitely need to give her a shout out. She's singing the Hindi in the background. Um, she kind of got me really into um, a lot of that that kind of sound and MIA obviously isn't totally based on that, she's Sri Lankan but um, she does have this more, wor- it's a more worldly, you know, way of way of delivering her, her style has obviously got a lot more influence from all over the world and I think that's really important Okay, we've been talking with Kelly Mays, we're going to get ready to wrap up, but there's a song off this album, um, you know, talking about bringing the diversity of women. A lot of people don't know that in Pittsburgh, you all got some heavy hitters, you know, it's the home of Sam Snead and the home of Mailman and, uh, you know, who work with Dr. Dre and it's a long, you know, Paradise from X-Clan is there and a lot of folks. Um, Vanessa German, you know, who kicks off and sets up your song Hawk, um, won, you know, a slam championship not too long ago. Talk about this song, Hawk, her setting it up, and how the the female posse that you kind of roll with. Yeah, um, Vanessa German is, um, to me, like a soul sister. She is by far one of the um, most talented performers, poets, spiritual goddess in my mind. Um, she just got asked to be the pop tech. I don't know if you're familiar with that. If not, Google it. She was asked to be the poet um, of that event next to the R&B singer, John Legend. Um, she's really blowing up, and she, her and I performed together very regularly. We did a show, an all-female show together, um, which had some incredible performance or performers, Laverne Hotep, Baker, and um, Rebecca Cooper. And also, when you when it, the song actually starts, my girl Shelby Starr is singing the hook. So you're not um, singing the hook, it's somebody not, else. Yeah, it's Shelby Starr. Yeah, it says it on the album, just in case. Um, giving her her due. She, she, I lived with her for a long time. She's actually living in Philly now. She is an amazing voice. Um, and I think maybe I might sing the, the, the background. I might sing the lower part in the hook. I, I don't even remember right now. But um, And then in the middle of the song, the 16 bars in the middle, that's Empress. Um, she is a slam dunk Puerto Rican MC. She is not fucking around. She's actually moving to um, Atlanta very shortly um, to, to try to make waves down south. So it's a it's a song that a lot of women can relate to. It's sort of like that lost love kind of song, but you still just have full respect and you want to wish someone well. And that's to me how all relationships should really end, even even when the feelings are nasty at the end. You know, always just sending somebody off with you know pure intentions and hope and hoping that you know all is well. And that's kind of what the song so is. is about. So you know, one of the things I got to ask you is that song. You know, Hawk, is that based upon a true story? Yes, it is. We're going to take a listen to it. We'll be right back. Please remember that I want the best for you. No matter what happens, you got to hold it down and stay true to yourself. Your soul will never lead you astray. When the shit hits the fan, just stand, pray, and stay calm. Because they don't love you like I do. Press through. Stay true. Even though it hurts so bad, you want to lose your mind and find a new hustle, you got to stay on your grind. And remember your light, your truth. Your love, your soul, it's in your breath, in your heart, in your hands, and in your bones, and they can't take that away. Even though the day is long, you're stronger than any lie. The truth is inside of you, blooming new with every breath. And if you need me to remind you of who you are, I'll say, you are the way the sun shines over my shoulder in the noonday light. You are the first thing I think about in the morning, and the last thing I think about at night. It's true. I want the very, very best for you. I can't see. Swoop 
into my dreams I'm feeling duped cause I feel so extreme Turning around and I'm wishing you were there Wishing that I had the right words to show I care Your power's warm and I'm searching for the heat You got the drive that can lift me from my seat When you are near, I'm feeling complete Now I'm broken down and I'm needing your retreat How could this happen? I thought the search was done Inside this battle that nobody has won I'm so afraid of what giving up will mean I am all alone, I've been running in this scene Inside my movie that you no longer star I need your arms, I can't feel them from afar I'm cracking jokes, a fake hearty ha ha Jumps out the car, I wanna be right where you are
Davey D listening to the heartfelt song Hawk. I know a lot of people who have probably reacted to this song. Mm-hmm. Have you guys heard oh, yeah. sort of feedback? Definitely. I mean, just people, you know, oh, I felt you on that one. You know, it's, it's obviously something that people can relate to. Again, it's just like, you know, you, every time a relationship ends, you know, you hope that you have that kind of like, I still wish you well. You know, and most people do in the end, even if you have some hard feelings after a little while. You know. That's real talk right there. You know, um, as we close out, a couple of things I wanted to just kind of square away. One, you know, would you have an uh, uh, organization like Nocturnal and, you know, Album Age of Feminine? And, you know, and I started off by talking about all the other female movements that seem to be going on in Washington, D.C., not too far from here in Baltimore where we're at. You have Sisters on the Mic. Um, you know, uh, you have her story out west, you know, the Lily Tour and all these other things. Have you guys ever sat down in a room linked together? Do you all cross paths? Do you all try to build? Or what, what sort of movement is happening to connect those dots? Well, I think that there's um, definitely an interest from all angles. I mean, I know that when, you know, through my travels with Nocturnal, we have been able to go into other cities, mostly within a couple hour range of Pittsburgh, but it seems like most of the women are very interested in networking and opening up um, lines of communication. There's a a festival out in Chicago. We connected with a girl who runs, it's called um, Estro Jam. We're hopefully going to do some work with them in the future. Um, I have some, you know, just people that I've been working with over the years that have moved around. My girl, um, Karin, just moved to Miami, so we're going to be doing some events with her. Um, my girl, Sunga, who's on my album that's singing in the background, she's now in L.A. Um, and I definitely think that, you know, it's important to connect the dots. And I hope in the next, like, year or two as we get, you know, as Nocturnal becomes more of a force and we can actually be in other markets on a regular basis that we can actually become a, a way to connect women to each other. Okay, and what, 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 what do you see on the horizon in terms of the city of Pittsburgh? Oh, well, I mean, we've got we've got a lot of rising stars right now. Um, you know, there's quite a few people just got signed. You know, Pittsburgh Slam got signed to Def Jam. Uh, Wiz Khalifa to Warner Brothers. Um, I think there's a lot of eyes on Pittsburgh. The talent is really, um, I just recently did an interview in a magazine saying the talent is super um, incredible and diverse. It's just that we need to connect with one another just like everywhere else. We need to support each other. Um, and I think that that's happening, and I think that it's just a matter of time before um, people really do the industry overall starts paying attention to the city. Right, I'm thinking like One Hood, Jasari mm-hmm. X, you know, who did the Free Gina song. But also on a political tip, y'all are making moves. People like Kahari Mosley and all those folks seem to be, you know, making their way on a political tip and all being young. Mm-hmm, definitely, yeah. I think that um, we're all... There's a lot of energy in Pittsburgh. I mean, that's that's for sure. We're in our 250th anniversary year, 2008 um, marks our, our birthday. So it's definitely a lot of money going into the city, a lot of marketing going into the city, and people are taking notice for sure. Well, we're going to leave out of here with a song that you started and didn't finish, you know, of oh, yeah. uh, the 412 <laughs> off your album. That was annoying. When are you going to finish that song? <laughs> You know, it is finished. I just haven't recorded it yet. But I'm going to record it just for you because I know, I know you, were the, you were one of the only people that called me with sincere anger at the fact that I did not finish that song. So I will definitely be finishing it and making sure I record it. Well, there you go. We've been talking to Kelly Mays. We appreciate you taking time out, you know, um, you know, and being part of the spotlighting of women doing it big in 2008. Be on the lookout for how can they get a hold of you. You've got a number, iSpace page, I'm a, you know, Facebook. You know, there's so many ways that people can get a hold of you now. Yeah, well, you can check out, um, you can check out my company at Nocturnal, N-A-K-T-U-R-N-A-L.net. You can reach me through there, and also you can check out my MySpace page, uh, myspace.com backslash K-M-A-I-Z-E music, and um, I'm not going to give out my phone number, I don't think, but... You don't want to give out your home uh, number? Uh, no, I'll give out my, my email address. It's kelly at N-A-K-T-U-R-N-A-L dot net. Well, there you go. We're out for now, everybody. Peace. Put your hands together for the 412 
one, two, four rivers If you don't know, now you do Center a change, it's true What you heard, we a city of superheroes It's Pittsburgh That's right, not three, we got four The Dalai Lama stopped on his spiritual tour And felt the ground shake The man, no earthquake He saw the X date and how the cosmos shake 2012, be the year we gon' escape Out from under the patriarchy cape Sick of crossbones and poison And it's what's up And every day we wait The world just get hot time We gotta juggle this shit like a globe trotter I know you thought about recycling So what stopped ya? You know I had to stop the beat I'm tired They gon' have to wait for the full length for that one W-B-R-K-D Breakdown FM Where we break down news, views, and the hip-hop movements